hip hop is not what it was. We have to embrace the new. This idea that is it's what it was, it, it gotta stop. Like real talk. Yo, 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 yo. We got the Levi's Wild Guys. Check out the full podcast. Link below. Drake versus most deaf. Mm -hmm. Or Yasin Bay. Is Drake hip hop? To be honest with you. That's been one of the questions that's been floating around social media and the entertainment space and this shit. I think it's one of the most asinine questions I've ever heard posed. I can't stand the question. It's though. literally I annoying. It. I can't stand the question. For many reasons. Can't like, I, I think the fact that this is even a question proves how disrespected Drake is, right? Because any person else, in, can you imagine somebody asking, yo, is, is J. Cole hip hop? Mm. Is Kendrick Lamar hip hop? Bro, it's one of the most asinine questions that you could ask and disrespectful. At, at, at his service, um, obviously, well, the guy got some context. Um, Yasin Bey, aka Most Dev, he went on a podcast. Um, the get the host actually asked him, "Yo, like, what do you think about Drake? Is Drake hip hop?" And his response was that Drake is pop. Drake is pop to me, in the sense like if I was in Target in Houston and I heard a Drake song, it feels like a lot of his music is compatible with shopping i didn't think yeah his tone to me was, was respectful disrespectful. tone aside can we just have a like I, maybe maybe there's some kids out here uh people who are younger who might think that's a legit question that maybe we have to de debunk mm -hmm. right maybe there's the thing and i by the way i do understand yasin bay's point I do. Mm -hmm. I understand what he was getting at. I just think mm -hmm. it's a, a bit of a disingenuous like sort of angle mm -hmm. on how to classify Drake as a, as an artist. Mm -hmm. Is Drake a pop star right now? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Is rap pop at this stage in 2024? Mm -hmm. Yes. Does Drake make songs that are not boom bap and that cater towards the masses? Mm -hmm. Sure. So if you want to classify that as pop, I get it. Mm -hmm. I understand the angle. Mm -hmm. But to... Say someone is not pop because they have the they have the ability to go in that direction in addition to making hip hop centric, whether it's uh what he did in the early, you know, when he was coming up, the comeback seasons, his early run with cash money, young money, um, even what he did on uh For All the Dogs, the second part, mm -hmm. he shows that he has this element in him. So to uh, elude that he's not hip hop to say he's pop, I think it's disrespectful. I saw a conversation that Lil Wayne had with uh, Richard Sherman, mm -hmm. and, it, and Richard Sherman asked him, Yo, like, do you think Drake is disrespected? And he said, Yeah, I think he's disrespected because he's light skinned. I don't think that is the case per se. I'm not gonna true. I'm not gonna hang my hat on that per se. It's hundred percent. But I do believe Drake is highly disrespected. I think it has more to do with the musicality of what he's been able to introduce, R and B with rap. But go ahead. What yeah. do you what do you think? It's 100% true. This is a bigger discussion. Hip hop, there's too many underlying insulting words in hip hop, right? When you call somebody pop, that's an insult because pop is always associated to, oh, you're like soft, commercial, you can't go to any hood. That's what he is trying to say. That's the underlying thing that, you know, is what comes with being called a pop artist, right? If pop was associated to being in a hood, street, there's no problem with that. You know what I mean? So hip hop is trying to claim they're the opposite. Mos Def, what type of music did Mos Def make? Boom Bap, Book Bag, uh, you know, conscious hip hop music that's clear Sam super as sample day. Base. Super, super sample, sample yeah, base. Super sample soul yeah. in there. Absolutely. It's clear as day. Blackity black hip hop music is what Mos Def made. Correct. So if you ever called Mos Def a pop artist, that's like associating. I bet you Mos Def is like, that's like you calling me not black. But there's something associated to pop where if you call somebody pop, you ain't as black. You ain't as with the culture, all right? So to me, that's just kind of like, we got to change that narrative. Pop is what you make it. Hip hop is what you make it. R&B is what you make it. Rock is what you make it. Country is what you make it. And that's how people's mentality is because you see so many fusions now of these genres because they don't care what your stereotype is. I want to make the best product as a musician. And the best product sometimes calls for me to tap into my pop side, tap into my R&B side. If we can get that negative connotation, that's the problem here. Why do people feel like that was an insult to Drake? You know, it's because pop has a negative connotation to the black culture, black hip hop community. That is an absolute fact. And I'll, go, I'll be more clear. Mm -hmm. 
You say negative connotation. I'll use the word pop has been associated with white. Yes. And what yes. is the opposite of hip hop? The origins of hip hop. Mm -hmm. I ain't talking about right now. Yeah. Talking about most death era. Mm -hmm. The public enemy. Yeah. He, the people he listened to growing yeah. up was probably public enemy. Yeah. Yeah. Fight the power. Bro, like oppression. Mm -hmm. Right? Like we are oppressed as people. I think most death along with many other late uh, uh I'm sorry, last generation legends, if you will, come from a particular perspective of the genre that's yeah. not updated to the times. Uh, it's that simple. Percent. They are not, they're percent. speaking from an old from mentality. An old mentality where you didn't see DMX having any pop elements in his music. At all. You didn't see Jay -Z, no melody life and time. But when Jay-Z understood that, he started to roll with the Bon Ivers. With the on the Blueprint Mr. Three, Hudson's hip hop is pop. I've been saying this for years, mm -hmm. and essentially, what I've been getting at is the fact that this genre that was once solely black and associated with only black people, mm -hmm. and there was one sound that was made up of this mm -hmm. this genre, mm -hmm. it has now morphed and has been ingratiated with all these other genres yep. and been spread all around the world from Russia to Ukraine to uh, India and has made it their own. They've made it their I own. hip-hop is the most uh, used genre in fusions. So, like, if you're going to listen to a song, more than likely a popular one, you're going to hear hip-hop elements in it more than you would hear maybe R&B elements, more than you would hear maybe country elements. Hip-hop is the most used... It's a global genre, bro. You know, genre, right? Yes. You know, most deaf in that, he said, uh, uh, you know, he associated it to shopping, like I mentioned <laughs> earlier, right? That's how Target. Saw, right? Target. That's, that's he trying to say, uh, you know, having a peaceful, nice day. Hip-hop is for some reason associated being in the hood, you know, gritty, but that's not that's not the only form of hip hop. Yes, there's a category of hip hop that's that, but that's not the only form. So I would say his comments were problematic. But I mean, the, the issue is Drake is such a household name. Drake is such a name. When you know what bothers me, when you say you like Drake, they automatically say you don't know hip hop. You don't know you know what you're talking about. You just like anything. Drake makes good music, guys. Period. That's Drake it. Makes good music. End of story. Like you know, there's this idea that I should feel bad for liking Drake. All of us who love this genre dearly, we grew up on it. We still love it. Maybe some of us are falling out of love with it based on what's going on. Whether it's drill, right? Where we all getting older, right? Like, I do think this conversation actually challenges. It should challenge you to reassess what hip hop means mm. to you. And what's interesting is. Drake's response, initial response to Most Def was he shared a video from Method Man yep. uh, back in the Wu-Tang era yep. where somebody asked him in a casual conversation, yo, what is hip hop? And, and Method Man was very vague. Hip hop is a culture. It's the way of life, the way you dress, the way you talk, the way you walk, it's the break dancing, the rhymes, the stage show. DJ, the mixing, the scratching. All of that stuff is relative. These things change over time. Hip hop is not what it was. We have to embrace the new. Can I make a like this idea that is it's what it was? It, this shit gotta stop. Like I, real talk, it got it gotta stop. You know what really angers me? A lot of times, the ones that talk about what real hip hop is, their impact to hip hop is less than the person that they're talking about. Moe's Def's impact on hip hop is not even one tenth the impact Drake has had on hip hop. Period. I don't care how you slice it. Drake has introduced flows. One tenth. Drake though? Has I don't know about one tenth. One tenth. I don't know. Moe's Def. I'm, I got an argument. I got an argument. I got an argument for why I don't one think it's one tenth. tenth. I think it's more like. Okay. I think it's more like one four tenth. tenths. One tenth. It's four tenths. One tenth. Drake you want to have the conversation? Drake, let's do it real quick. Okay, I was gonna say Drake has introduced flows, sure. numerous flows, sure. that have been used okay. to get several people Billboard chart hits. Got you. Drake has allowed a Jack Harlow to get billion streams, okay, become a millionaire. Okay. Drake has allowed a guy like Logic, all your favorite artists. Drake is responsible for that. Understood. Drake has influence has has worked with Migos. Yes. Has worked with all these guys. Got you. Helped put them there. His whole vulnerability to the hip-hop world 
All this stuff Drake has impacted. Facts. It's more than what most deaf has impacted. I, I got to be clear. By one tenth. Uh, listen, we 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 might be debating semantics here. <laughs> I'm not saying most deaf is close. It's I'm just close. simply saying. I don't want to shit on most deaf to I'm make not. the point. Now I know you're not, but I want to actually give it more credit because most deaf is part of uh, the the black star group with Talib who influenced he, Kanye sound big, and Kanye influenced a lot of dudes. Influence. So there was big there influence. is a lane for what he did and, yeah, and, and he may sure. not have gotten for the sure, commercial for sure. success for sure for sure. So I don't want to shit on him. I'm not, not saying you not, not saying you did. I yeah. want to actually want to big big him up though. This is more about what Drake has brought to hip hop in the last 10, 12, 13 it's years. It's significantly this is not more about most than death. most death. This is not about most death. Not even close. This is about Drake's impact. Facts. If one can argue Drake is the reason hip hop is even where it's at right now. One can argue that Drake is keeping hip hop here. Some of these old heads like most death think hip hop is dead. Well, so they they challenge that I idea. Mean, I ain't saying it right, by the way. Dead. I'm just saying like but, they think, oh, y'all see, y'all think this is real hip hop. Back in my day, what you hip hop was way better. Whether you think hip hop sucks or hip hop is this or hip hop is still there, hip hop is still being of categorized. Hip hop is still being made. Absolutely, and the majority of the hip hop that we hear is being made has been influenced by Drake. Absolutely. Listen to the full episode. Link below.